Oh, hi there, T-Mosel. Top 5 fuck-ups of Nintendo from 2000 to 2015. So, let's start off. First off, Swap Note. You know that 3DS app that isn't an app anymore? That used to be an app? You know, you could draw things or even take pictures and send them to your friends. Yeah. One word. Sexting. Did not go well. And then, August 12th rolled, and, um, Nintendo's 3DS got a price cut, which brought it down to almost one-third of its original price. And you know what that did? That brought the sales up 260%. Do you know what that means? It was selling badly because it was overpriced as all hell. There's, you know, Google it, actually. Tons and tons and tons of build research that checks the Nintendo 3DS isn't that expensive to make. Maybe they just pay their workers really well over at Foxconn. <laughs> no, they don't. But the price was too much. That's that's a fuck up in my eyes. How is this a worse fuck up than the previous one? Um, let's see. They predicted four million sales. They didn't get four million sales, and thus they cut the prices. And the head of Nintendo had to take a lowered salary. Which, you know, he's still freaking goddamn rich, and Nintendo itself is goddamn rich, but still, that's a fuck up. Number three, compatible with nearly 1400 Wii games, the Wii Mini. Big fun, mini price, except for the fact it doesn't do online. So, it's got Wii games, but no online. At all. Nothing. All right, all right, it's a hundred dollars. That's, you know, oh, it's, it's a cheaper Wii. No, no, it's not. It's, I mean, yes, it is priced lower than the Wii, but for 30 bucks, they're gonna bring down the price and then be able to, so you can't change out the memory card or anything. There isn't even an announced memory card. I'm on Nintendo's official site. There is no declared internal storage. Yes, it comes with Mario Kart Wii. Yay, Mario Kart Wii. Why don't you just get a Wii? It's 30 bucks apart, and you can pretty much use all the online features. You don't even need to buy a game for it. It still gets Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff. The online. Yes, the Wii has a terrible browser, and really, if you're using it as an internet machine, that's not really bright. But it's still not worth it. Wii Mini. Kind of a fuck-up. Amiibo! Actually, no, Amiibos is not on this list. Amiibos not, are not a fuck-up in my mind. I mean, looking at it from a sales point, those things are selling like crazy, and at like 12 bucks each, they're making a crap ton of money for people who want Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3. Like, you could have bought a Wii U by now. Twice! If you're collecting all the Amiibos, so... That's not even on this list. That's not a thing. Amiibos, massive success. Why? Because people like things that are collectible, apparently, even if they're terribly painted and they really don't serve a good purpose. Alright, this is kind of weird, but... Rehashing! What was the last big Nintendo IP that was totally new that we did in a wonderful 101? Okay, so besides that one, that one, one right there. Best-selling Nintendo games, uh, let's see, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Fire Emblem, Mario, Fantasy Life, that's one. Okay, so we got Wonderful 101 and Fantasy Life, because I'm right here on Nintendo's 3DS website, and Fantasy Life is that. Now for the Wii U. Let's look at how many amazing IPs, brand new games and titles are out for the- Oh, wait, no. Just Kirby, a lot of Mario and Zelda, Pikmin, Captain Toad, Treasure Track, based off of a Mario thing. But still, it's pretty new, so I'm gonna give it that. And, yeah, games that are best-selling. I mean, I understand that they provide fresh new takes to old classics. That's innovation, in a sense, but, you know? Innovation only goes so far. You can only rehash the same thing a few times before it gets old. It's like inbreeding. It doesn't work, and it gets worse the more you do it. Uh, I mean, don't go like Sony where you kill your IPs, and, you know, you freaking have to make a new IP because you effed up the old ones. No, you haven't effed up your IPs too much. Just, you know, put the new guy next to the old guy. Have Mario. You know, give, uh... And the greatest uh, fuckaboo uh, by a Nintendo is actually rather recent. The Nintendo Partner Program, or even how they were DMCA striking all these YouTube channels that basically love them and kicking them in the nuts for loving them. 
A nice example is Chugga Conroy. The man has done nothing but speak well of Nintendo for years. Even when they fuck up, he does not say it. He does not acknowledge it. Okay, sometimes he does, but that's like one out of 99 videos. Chugga Conroy loves Nintendo. Uh, I would have never gotten back into Animal Crossing if it was not for Chugga Conroy. I would not have picked up Okami if it was not for Chugga Conroy. I wouldn't have even touched Muramasa if it wasn't for uh, Chugga Conroy. So, and then they do the Nintendo Partner Program, which basically fucks him out of everything, his living. So, that's a beautiful betrayal right there. That's like a perfect knife stabbed right into his backside. Because here's how YouTube works. You get 50% of the cash YouTube will generate from ads and whatnot. On top of that, if you're with like a, a network, they'll probably have a cut with you. So let's say Chugga has a cut with Nintendo, I mean, I'm sorry, with YouTube. So that's 50-50. So now he's making a dollar, cut that in half. He got 50 cents, whatever. Now, cut that, uh, let's say, again, it's really bad. He's in a bad network. And I'm doing this because math is not my strong point. So we're gonna make it simple numbers. Cut that in half. Now he's got 25 cents. That's reasonable you know because mcn's uh multi-channel networks used to provide a lot of benefits nowadays it's pretty useless to get into one but you know back in the day when he started out that was the ga that was the game name you know you get one of those and you're good to go so he's okay with that and now nintendo has their wonderful network uh, whatever they crap call it which takes away i think you get 60% and they get 40% or if you um, join their network entirely were so anyways resuming yeah yeah there's money splits and stuff Nintendo network blah 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 YouTube network very difficult things but that's not the big problem the big problem is if you put any Nintendo content in fact if you even put that in the title there's a chance they'll see it and if they see it and they don't like it if things keep progressing as they are, where Nintendo gets to do whatever the hell they want with online content that they claim is theirs, which by the way, would anybody give a damn if, if you know, Chugga Conroy stopped doing Nintendo games and did games he likes? No! Chugga Conroy has, like, he's a personality. They're watching it for the personality. The game is just there. Want to prove that? Look at Game Grumps. Game Grumps just do what they want, and they just do Boom, done, they're done, they do it. People are there for the personality. So really, it's not the game. In fact, the game is the secondary content, which is getting publicity, which is why I got a bunch of Nintendo games, because Chuck Conroy said they were good, and I was like, hey, that man is generally, he's got good taste in games, so I got the games. Now the worse and darker perspective of this, what if they get away with this? Hmm? Then they can just take down anything that is Nintendo, and you know, monetize anything that is Nintendo. And let's say you critique a Nintendo game, but they take it down. And you're like, oh, it must be a mistake. You take out all the Nintendo content, but it's still critiquing the Nintendo game, and they own that. And they take it down. Or you unpack, like, you know, for your birthday, your mom got you some Nintendo stuff. And you put that on YouTube, and you're like, haha, that's cool. And Nintendo monetizes your video and sticks a bunch of pre-rolls in front of it, but you don't even want to monetize it. Hey, all those things can become a reality! Because Nintendo is really stuck in its ways. And granted, first they were taking down videos and monetizing them without people's permission. Now they're trying to make a little partnery network thing where they screw you over. But, you know, they don't take down your stuff. It, it does look like they're A, going towards a better perspective, but still, this is a pretty big fuck-up where they were taking down content. A lot of YouTube creators were just getting salty. You know, they have the right to be salty in this situation. If YouTube is your living, I won't advocate that it being the smartest way, but if it is, Nintendo is basically taking the bread out of your mouth and leaving you to starve. After all these years of loyalty where you've been buying their games and, like, publicizing that these are the great games that I enjoy that you guys should buy too, they kind of took their foot and kicked you in the balls. Like steel-toed cleats. So, biggest fuck up is their online PR management. I mean, bad publicity, I think of Sega and Nintendo and and usually, you know, any publicity is good publicity if used in the right manner. But 
Nintendo doesn't have that going for them. Gamers who are just on the PC or they don't give a crap about Nintendo because they've either never been into Nintendo or got burnt by Nintendo, they're not going to pay attention to Nintendo going down in a flaming ship because publicity only works when you're interested in the topic, when it's hot. This isn't hot. This is just damn depressing. This is just dumb. This is like, hey, you know... Nintendo fucked up, and someone's like, yeah, they've been getting stale. Like, there's no benefit in this kind of publicity. This doesn't help sales in anything at all. They should be working with content creators. They should send out those IP games, you know, to content creators. Be like, hey, this is a brand new Nintendo IP. Please, just give us your thoughts in the form of a video. We will pay you for your time, or we won't. We, But we won't, you know, take from your content revenue, or we won't do anything bad. Just speak your mind we want actual feedback and we care about our consumers so that they get the best gaming pr uh, experience out there no it's more like hey buy a bunch of amiibos and if you do anything with our content we'll monetize it also don't shit talk us because eventually we're going to take that down <laughs> Weege. oh well it wouldn't be Weege. i guess i'm not sure which personality it would be this has been long-winded enough but anyways Top five fuckers on Nintendo. Good job, Nintendo.